The Chiefs bring home the Lombardi Trophy as all of Chiefs Kingdom gets ready to celebrate the first Super Bowl victory in 50 years. Less than 24 hours after the Chiefs celebrated on the field at Hard Rock Stadium, the team arrived at KCI, ready to continue the party. KCTV5's Amy Anderson is live up at the airport. And Amy, a whole lot of people happy returning to Kansas City today. Boy, no kidding, Brad, and probably no one happier than this guy, Coach Andy Reid. He was the first person to get off the plane today. He was holding that Lombardi trophy to the cheers of people closest to the organization that were there waiting for them. The players and coaches followed Reid, many of them stopping to show the trophy some love. We met up with fans returning from Miami today. They say there was nothing like being there in person to witness Kansas City history. There is no other fan base like the Chiefs, right. like Chiefs Kingdom. Right. We are one of a kind. Right. We're, it's just something special about it. And I think, you know, each year, year after year after year, you know, um, we've waited 50 years for mm -hmm. this. After seeing what I saw in Miami, the representation from the Chiefs fans, I'm totally convinced we are the best fan best base hands ever. It was spectacular. It was uh, it was a red kingdom out there in Miami. So it was a it was a blast. Are you so glad you made the trip? So glad that we made the trip. I thought, you know, in the beginning, I thought we were a little bit nuts for going out and doing it. But uh, but it was it was amazing. It was spectacular and such a special thing for the city and for the team and for Andy Reid. So we're all. Now, when all the players got off the plane today, they loaded onto buses, as you saw, and they headed out to the Arrowhead training facility. And that is where KCTV5's Leslie Aguilar is with that part of the story. Leslie. Uh, right now, well, most of the Chiefs players are probably already at home resting after what I imagined was an exhausting weekend, locking down that Lombardi trophy. We watched their buses arrive here at Arrowhead earlier this afternoon. Chopper 5 got video of them as they left KCI. Fans pulled over on the side of the road, lined over passes to wave and welcome the Chiefs back home to the kingdom. Police and Arrowhead crews blocked off all the gates leading to the practice facility, so no, none of the fans out at Arrowhead visiting the pro shop got an opportunity to get a glance of the champions. But we watched as the players left the stadium moments after arriving back at the facility, many of them with huge smiles, of course. Chris Jones even rolled down his windows to greet the police officers blocking the road for their passage. So the champs are back, but likely the first chance for most of us to get a glimpse at them will be Wednesday at that victory parade. Reporting live from Arrowhead, Leslie Aguilar, KCTV 5 News. All right, Leslie, thank you.